given to you, but we gonna take it back. We want our earth back, Ashashua. You, you're not looking good, man. You ain't doing right. You're not eat, You're not. You're not even feeding yourself. If you left your own peoples, you didn't take care of your own people, out, Joshua. You got your own people out here looking like scrawny torn torps. You ain't healthy. They not healthy. So we, our brothers, Akim, we're gonna do this. Is what we gotta do to 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 pursue perfection. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 1 My son if thou come to serve the Lord prepare thy soul for temptation We got to prepare our soul We got to prepare ourselves But it's going to the word prepare real quick Just because it's here Salapia Let's go on to this word real quick I just want to get the meaning of the word prepare Just because Because it's dynamic to know Our apostles showed us the way man no way, no. I'm tired of this filthy place. Look at this. Here, here go um, Betsy want to give me a long time. <laughs> Just want to hear the word, man. I ain't asked for anything else. Where is it at? Come on, really? It's a lot, man. Let's get... Oh, boy. Come on. Just want to hear it and just want to give me all the time. So I'm telling you, man. Uh, I want to hear that word. All right. It's prepared. Make, it says prepare. Okay. I just wanted to hear it. I like to hear the secretary say it. They got this glorious thing of, uh, uh, um, a computer speaking, prepare, and all the meetings and all that. We go, we, our chariots got to speak to us too. In Hebrew, prepare to make ready beforehand for one, for some um, purpose, use, or activity, okay? To put in prosper, state of mind, to, no, put, to, to put in prepare state of mind. Look, look. Get it. Let's see. What is this? Okay. Prepare. Prepare to make ready. I just wanted to hear. The secretary dropped prepare. it up. Prepare. Okay. Prepare. What did it say? I, my son, if, there, if thou come to prepare thy... Salakia, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself. Prepare. That what we how we prepare is getting doing getting into these scriptures and making it happen. Prepare. Salakia, give me a second. One second. We preparing ourselves for what's next. And it's going to be glorious. They're not going to beat us, man. They're not made to beat us. They're made to bow to us. Our disobedience got us in this mess. Our disobedience is going to get us out. You understand? Our disobedience is going to get us out. I mean, our, so like our obedience is going to get us out. It's going to get us out of this filthy place. One way in, one way out. Okay? It's ready. We're going to get our earth back in righteousness. Right? Prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make thy haste in a time of trouble. And we bring these words, verses out all the time, over and over again. It's a clear indication it's the Spirit. Okay, because I wasn't planning on these verses. But always forget what we want. We're going to have to constantly endure, man. And prepare our mind for temptation. Because it's, it's not going to be pretty. Okay? All right, let me get back on track in verses I did have. All right? Now, generally, you know, the scriptures, from what I've learned, 
the scriptures have been speaking to me through the men that he set up. And then when I go back in, I have an opportunity to be able to do what I'm doing, be able to navigate through the scriptures. And then you, this how you absorb what you heard. Because you're able to sit down and meditate on these words, man. And this is how I absorb words. I, I'm like, wow. Because I was doing it on my phone. I had this little other phone. I was able to get my eyes burnt out. Now, I went and bought me a television. I didn't have a television, okay? I got me a, the Lord blessed me with a computer. And I said, okay, it must be for this. Utilizing what I have to, to know what's going on in the world. In the world, we know what's going on. Look at this. All right, look at this. Look what this one, this verse said. This Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This would tell you the Lord does these things. Yahweh Shem Shah gave the earth to, to, to Ashashua because, our, because of our bum ass selves. We some, we some idiots, man. I'm telling you, bro. Look, look what it said. Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This is the mad. This, this matter is by the decree of the watchers. And, and the, it's a locket. And the man, that's the man, right? Let me see. That word is the man. I know it is, but that's a powerful word. Demand. Yes, right. The man by the words of the holy ones, see, of the holy ones. To the instant that the living may know, he, he telling that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whosoever he will. See, is Yahweh our Shah's will. And set it up over it the basis of man. This verse jumped out at me. The basis of man is Esau. I want to, um, that's another verse I'm thinking about. If it pops up with this, the basis of man, the basis. I got it. There's another verse that just came to my head. I, I'm just trying to feel, I don't know. Salakia. It's another verse. I can't think of the word right now. You're done, Ashashua. It's another word. Mm. Oh, boy. Salakia. Um. Salakia. It's another verse. I can't think of exactly where it's at. I can't think of the word. It's a word. I can't think of the word. In. It's, it's, you better hope I don't get that one. They're going to run down. The verse is going to run down on you. Yaba Shimel Shah is going to run down on you through the verses, bro. He's coming for you. It's a verse. It's a lock here. Maybe I'm bugging out, but I know I know it's another verse. I just can't think of the word, Ashashua. And that clarifies, explains you, Ashashi. Alright, so like I can't find it. But it's okay. Alright. So you know, another verse just popped up right here. That like I said, I'm all I'm about to decide this is being edifying and I'm I'm a little just a little hype right now because I know we 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 found the way out the game and this is the only way and, and, and it's clarifying itself bro yo I never saw so many people young men get blown away crazy and they want and and it's no need to want what they want what they got because it's got to be naught but it come to naught Alright. Um, Psalm chapter 73, verse 3. I was envious at the foolish when I, I mean when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. You know, you might want what they got. Oh, I want a little bit of money to take care of my kids, my baby, and all of my bills. But fuck that. We got ultimateness. We are rich in righteousness, man. We are rich in the scriptures, man. And we got the riches, man. Man, we got the riches, bro. I was just thinking about this verse right now. Look, it just jumped in my head. All right? 
That's so what? And they're gonna come for us anyway, just for reading the book. Yo, this what's happening right now. You can't even say something. You, you're gonna freedom of speech. I'm, I'm not gonna never forget that video I saw when that that either my chick said, um, LeBron James, you better just dribble the basketball, LeBron James. Just dribble the basketball. We ain't ask for your opinion. I'm telling you, Ashash, we don't like you. What are you talking about? Just drive the basketball, LeBron James. You're not supposed to be in polit politics. Hmm. All right. Revelation, chapter two, verse nine. I know thy work in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So, what you gonna do about that verse, little hat? Huh? What, what do you want? What do you want? The scriptures is speaking against you. So, what do you want? What do you want done right now? People, are, the Lord is spilt, spitting up your filth. The earth, excuse me, the earth is spitting up your filth. You're filthy. Way back when you was Cain, you was filthy. Now you are Shashua, you're more filthy. Okay? So you're a fool. Nobody cares about you. So, Salakia, I'm probably, I gotta, I may have to end this video because I'm getting very angry. Alright? Got a few verses right here. We're gonna call them out. Man, I don't, I don't know what to tell you right now. Y'all done. You're done. Wow, you're done. You're done. Look, I'm looking at these verses. You're done. Ain't nobody go, oh, well, what we do? Well, what we didn't do nothing. I'm going to let you know what you are to the, for the Yahweh Shemel shot. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back up. Look what you are. This is what you are. You are this. Look at this. <laughs> you are Yahweh Shemel Shah's left hand. Yahweh Shah is the right hand and his team. Okay? So you're not going to get nothing. Okay? Alright, so it says, uh, Psalm to the 17, verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh El Shah, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul, deliver our soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay, you the wicked is you a sword. So what's about to happen? The sword was given to you to do to to um to execute, you know, the Lord's um whooping stick. Okay? But it's not to be over. Look at this, clarify it. From, from men which are thy hand, O Yahweh El Shah, from men of the world which have their portion in this life. You got yours. That's why the earth is giving it to you. You got it. Vocabulary, you in the part of this mix. You got yours. You out here trying to, whatever that you're doing, it's over. You're Haman. Haman, Shmaman. Which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou, whose belly thou filleth with thy hidden treasures, and I mean they are filled of children, and leave the rest of their substance to babes. So, you got yours, man. This is yours, man. I'm gonna buy one of this world, man. This world's whack, man. Whack ass, build a robot bullshit. Fuck out of here. You don't want to be a robot, you're on your own. I want fleshly power. I want to be like like Black Adam. I want to be like Superman, Kyle Love. Yeah, Black Superman supposed to be a dark-skinned brother. How about that, with a big beard? How about that, sucker? You're a sucker. Mm. We're going to end it with this one. The Wadi Abba Shemel Shah for perfection. First, Psalm 17, verse 15. As for me, I will behold thy face 
in righteousness. You're not righteous. We just read you don't have no, you don't show favor. There's no favor shown to be no bum ass wicked. The wicked don't do nothing right. Um, so I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. I want to be like Yahweh Shemel Shah with the likeness, man. Hey, this came to my mind when I was driving. So that's the title. And we want our earth back. All prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shah, Yahweh Shemel Kakotash. Shalom to the Aki and to Yahweh Shemel Shah for the apostles and elders, great millstone. Shalom. Shalom.